what's going on everybody my name is rocky cinema and today we are going to be doing the first room challenge on the giant basically if you guys don't know what it is i have to stay in this one room for the giant and i have to survive as long as i can without getting any perks without opening any doors and basically i expect to get no higher than round 10 it's very very difficult to do anything higher than round 10 on the first room challenge for this map so let's see how i do as you guys can see right now i'm just gonna run around i'm gonna go knife some people some zombies they're not really people just some zombies and then i'm gonna go ahead and buy the rk5 i'm gonna buy the shiva and that's pretty much all i could use i could use the three normal weapons on this first room and that is it and like i said i can't buy any gobble gum i can't buy any perks i can't buy any doors so I'm relying on pure skill to survive to round 10 at least in this one room. It's very, very small, very compact. It's very difficult once you get to the higher rounds. And I guess I shouldn't really say higher rounds. They're not really high rounds. But once you get to like rounds 8 through 10, that's when it gets actually pretty exceptionally hard. Uh, so yeah, I just got to try to survive to at least round 10. That is my goal. And let's see if we can get 25 likes on this video. Let me see if you guys are interested in seeing more of these because I definitely love doing these zombies challenges and that really, you know, if I like doing it, I'm going to do it. I don't really, I don't really care what other people say as long as I enjoy doing it. So if you guys enjoy it, you know, drop a thumbs up. Let's try to get 25 likes. If I see that you guys are showing some good support, I'll do another one of these probably right after. Honestly, I have a lot of challenges that I want to do. I want to do the first room, which of course I'm doing right now. I want to do the two box challenge, the rainbow perk challenge, the pistol only challenge, and then maybe even the pod only challenge or the pod weapon only challenge on Shadows of Evil. So I have a lot of zombies challenges that I want to try to do. It's just a matter if you guys want to see them. Like I said, I love doing them. I'm going to do them regardless. It's just whether or not I'm going to post them on the channel. So that's pretty much that as you guys can see i'm on round three and i'm sorry if these first couple rounds are pretty boring for you guys i know one through five is pretty slow it's pretty boring it's just me running around knifing some zombies and i know that could get pretty repetitive i know it could get pretty boring pretty fast but just bear with me until we get to the higher rounds now depending on how long this video is it might be a two-parter so if this video just ends abruptly at some point roughly eight nine minutes in don't worry there will be another video tomorrow so just you know be aware of that all right so i got a double points time to stack up some points even though i'm not opening any doors it's just you know good strategy to have for when you're actually trying boom 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 get three knived bitch boom all right man so this is actually pretty easy i've been playing a ton of the giant lately so you know this is pretty much my strategy anyways I usually stay in the first room like this until round five and then that's when I start going to get my other weapons, my juggernaut, my uh, what else is it, turning on the power. I usually do that around five or six so I'm pretty used to going up to round I would say five or six in this first room. So basically what I'm going to do now I have three bullets left and it doesn't look like I'm getting a max ammo so I'm going to come over here I'm going to buy the RK5 and that's just going to be a nice little backup and as soon as I run out of this three bullets I'm going to go ahead and buy this Shiva right here. So that should help me out a little bit. The Shiva is probably the worst fucking gun on this map. I'm not even going to lie. It is total AIDS. So there's that. I'm going to throw a grenade. And a lot of people tell me that when you're doing this first room challenge, you should always try to rebuild as many barriers as you can. But I want this challenge to go fast just for the purpose of this video. So I'm not going to rebuild any barriers. I'm just going to let them spawn in and chase me for the sake of this video. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I made a crawler already. Get the dick. So right now the Shiva's pretty decent. It's round four, but as you guys can see, like it has 10 bullets and it takes at least two to kill them. So I don't know, man. They could have made the Shiva a lot better. I don't know why that's the gun they chose to put there. They could have chose literally anything else. They could have put a different assault rifle there. But you know, it's whatever. Usually in the first rooms of zombies maps, you have a shitty weapon like this. It's either the M14 or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Boom. All right. Round five. Lego. We should be getting dogs here in the next two rounds. The dogs come from round five to seven. If you guys aren't a zombies player, you have dogs on the giant and they come between round five and seven and it's just only dogs. There's no zombies. 
And then as you get pro pro progressively on in the game, I don't expect to make it that far, but say you make it to like round 15, you start to get zombies and dogs, and that's when it gets super, super interesting. That's when it gets super hard to train because the dogs will fuck up literally every train you have because they're faster than every single zombie on the map, and it's really annoying. So, oh, what is that? What perk is that? Oh, an insta-kill. That's going to help me out. I can knife some bitches on round 5. Lego. Boom. Get the knife. Come here, bitch. Come here. Walk faster. I hate the low rounds because they don't run yet. I like them to run. Makes it easier to get to them. Makes them easier to get to. Oh! No. So if you guys have played zombies in the past, you would know that from pretty much any round, you die in two hits on zombies. They made it in Black Ops 3 a little bit easier. You now die in three hits instead of two hits. So, you know, that's a little bit interesting. That's some little zombies knowledge I'm going to drop on you. Oh, damn it. The insta-kill ran out. Yeah, that's a little bit of, you know, quick zombies facts for some of you non-zombies players because I know that a lot of people that watch me don't play zombies. But pretty much, I'm just going to put this out there. Every time I stream, I pretty much only stream zombies. Like, zombies is what my live stream is. And then pretty much, whenever I make a commentary or something, it's always multiplayer. I don't know, man. I, I think I enjoy zombies more, so I'm probably going to switch a lot of my content over to zombies soon because it's just something I enjoy, so I don't know. I'm going to wait. I'm not even going to buy ammo because we should be getting dogs right here or even the next round. Hopefully, it's this round. Come on. Where are my dogs at? Where are my dogs at? No? No? Come on. Okay. It's going to be next round. We're going to get dogs next round. That's all right. That's all good. I'll just have to use this pistol instead of the Shiva. Where are they at? Where are they at? Boom. What? How are you not dead? That took a whole clip. Come on. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, max ammo. Lego, boy. I don't even have to buy ammo. Fuck yeah. Get on my face. Get on my face, boy. Boom, boom, boom. Headshot, headshot, headshot. How much headshots do I have? I, have, I only have 16 headshots for 77 kills. That is a disgrace. Come on, give me some more headshots. We got 19 now. Let's try to get to 50 headshots by the end of this challenge. I think that's a good that's a good extra challenge to the challenge, if that makes any sense. If I can English, right? This Shiva's getting AIDS. This shit sucks. Ooh, we're starting to have Sprinter. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god. Ooh, rip headphone users. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh god, that was scary. I almost downed on round six. How embarrassing would that be? So we're approaching the eight minute mark now. If we get to, I would say, ten minutes and I still have a pretty decent time remaining, I think I'm going to separate it into a two-parter. So if I do separate it into two parts, like I mentioned earlier, it will be up tomorrow, just so you guys know. And then after that, I'll probably have one or two regular videos, and then I'll have another Zombies Challenge, which will be the pistol-only challenge on this map, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Alright, we are we should be getting dogs right now. The map should light up, and we should get some dogs. There we go. The map got all shiny and white, and now we're going to get some dogs. And if you guys have ever played the original, the giant, it's not called the giant, but if you guys have ever played the original, you would know that the dogs get progressively harder. In this game, in Black Ops 3, they made it so that the dogs are always the same skill level. So if you make it to round 100, if you make it to like round 90, the dogs are pretty much the same difficulty as they are on round 7. It's, it's retarded, man. I don't know why they did that. They, they're trying to make Black Ops 3 an easier Call of Duty Zombies experience for like the new Zombies players. Which I completely get, man. They're trying to get some new players. They're trying to get some new people. But, like, why? I, I just don't understand it. Like, all the veteran Call of Duty Zombies players, I guess you could say, all the old school players, like, they don't like it because it's just too easy now. And, I don't know. There's some things I like, like Gobblegum. I really like Gobblegum. It's super cool. And then the things you can add on to your guns when you pack a punch more than once, I think that's really cool. Like you got Blast Furnace, you got the Thunder thing, you got Fireworks. I think all of that's super cool. But then when you're able to add attachments and like Quick Draw, Fast Mag, Stock, when you're able to add that to all your weapons, I think that's too easy because that's basically giving you a free Perkaholic. Because say you put Fast Mags on, that's pretty much like you're putting... Um, what is it? That's pretty much like your buying speed cola if you put on fast mags. It's the same thing. Same thing with rapid fire. That's pretty much double tap. It's just, I don't know. It feels like it's too easy. 
I feel like it's just too easy for the new zombies players now, or from the for the old zombies players, I should say. Okay, they're starting to take more bullets to die. Start uh, time to start training. Oh no, I didn't buy ammo. Come on, I gotta buy some ammo. Give me some ammo. Fuck! I keep missing it. Time to pull out the Shiva. Give me some ammo. Boom, boom, boom. Grenade, grenade, will this make my training easier? Ooh, crawler. Oh, two crawlers. Give me those headshots. Three crawl, four crawl. Ooh, Lego boy. Round nine, let's fucking go. One more round and I will uh, successfully meet my goal. Right now I have 120 kills with 36 headshots. And that's pretty much that. See, it's round nine and we're at 10 minutes. I'm contemplating making a part two but I don't want to because I feel like right when I start part two I'm gonna die and that would just be embarrassing as fuck so I'm just gonna keep going we're just gonna power through we're gonna make it one long challenge I think it's gonna be I don't know maybe 17 minutes I I don't know you guys already know you can check the video and see how long it is already but I, I don't know how long it's gonna be I'm guessing we're gonna survive another six to I don't know five to six minutes I don't know something like that let me risk my life to get this insta kill I think that's pretty cool oh god Boom, bitch. Get the dick. 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 Oh, God, I almost died. Get the dick. Get the dick. Get the dick. Get the What? How did you not get hit by that bullet? Get the dick. I am just... See, I feel like I'm pretty pro, man. I'm pretty pro. Getting to round 10 for the first room challenge, I think I'm a pro right here. Boom. You know what? I'm not going to knife all them. Make it fast. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Wow, okay. I was just saying how much of a pro I was and then we down on round nine. Thank you for disappearing on me, insta-kill. That is like the leading cause of downs I've ever had in Call of Duty Zombies. I've been knifing zombies, not knifing zombies. All of a sudden the insta-kill disappears, I'm not paying attention, and then I just get dicked on. So that's hella embarrassing that's super embarrassing round nine uh rip headphone users thank you guys for watching let's try to get 25 likes on this video i'm out for the day deuce